Hello, people of the internet. My name is Brad Glover, and today we're going to be doing a conversion breakdown of. Oh, I had his name. <laughs> of Bastian Carthalos. But do try to think of it less as an actual guide, but more as a look into my particular process when it comes to conversions. Not that my way is the best way, it's just a way of doing it, and I thought I would show that off today. Anyway, let's get into it. So, first off, we're gonna carefully remove the sprues from the packaging, and then uh, once that's out, we're gonna thoroughly read the instructions before continuing. Here I have all the potential parts we're gonna be using for this conversion. I've got uh, some shoulder pads up here, I've got some weapons there, lots of them. On the other side, we've got some shields. Then uh, we've got the head we're gonna use, our Kelm's cape, some fancy belts, uh, and some braces. I've uh, got some back banners we might use, ready to go. So here we have the main body ready to go, uh, except for the shin pad here, because we're gonna put a different knee pad from our uh, onto onto here. So we're just gonna cut it here, cut that off, glue it on, and then uh, dry fit that bad boy. See if that fits, cut if necessary. And uh, pretty much just glue it on. It's a nice simple part to start with. And there we go. So now we're gonna work on the base. Uh, I've just got some slate here. We're just gonna position these pretty much where we want them. I'm gonna put this right here, jutting out the ground there. Uh, then we're gonna fit them on uh, to make sure we know uh, the way it's going to look. So we're just going to glue this on, glue these on, make sure to use lots of glue because you don't want this breaking part way through. And then that's that. Look at that. Uh, next we need to take this little uh, nub uh, off the off the foot so we can actually get them to fit properly. Again, always dry fit. Uh, now shields. Uh, this shield I don't really like personally, but I thought I'd throw it in there, so get rid of that. Uh, next we have uh, this shield, which I do quite like from the Gargan, but these ones here uh, are the same ones I use on my Annihilators, so we're going to get rid of those. Get rid of that. Uh, this one I think this might be a little bit too small, realistically, like yeah, that's going to be way too small, isn't it? Get rid of that. So we're left with this one. Looks great. Look at that. So next we're going to glue the arm on, just here. Simple stuff. Then we're gonna test out where the shield's gonna fit. But we need to pick out a shoulder pad first. So this one from the original model, uh, I think would fit, but you know, we don't wanna use the standard one because that's a bit boring. So let's test out this one, I think from the Dragon Ogres. Test that, it's gonna jut out a little bit too much, I think. It's gonna interact with the shield. Uh, this one, again, comes out a little bit too far there. Uh, this one, a little bit too bulky. I think. So actually none of these are really going to work. Sweep those away. Uh, instead we're going to get actually one of the belts and we're going to cut it down and put it over the shoulder. So let's just cut this bit. Well, I'll dry fit it first obviously. Cut it off. Like that. Test it again. Yeah, that should work nicely. Blue that bad boy on. Nice. And that should fit nicely with the shield. So we're gonna cut these little poles off the shield. Don't need these. Uh, and then we need to make sure the inside is as flat as possible. So it's not gonna mess with the arm. Got all these off. Uh, and these little tassels are gonna get in the way as well. I'll get rid of those. And that should fit nicely. So let's try some glue on, and all the contact points. So it should stick. Nice and easy. Now weapons. This one, a bit too small. This one, I'm not, not feeling a mace for him. Uh, this one, same, I've used it on another unit. Let's get rid of that. Uh, these ones, I'm not, I'm not really feeling an axe, so get rid of those. Which leaves us with this blade looking thing here. Look at that. Work out how to get that on in a sec. So we're gonna put it on the end of uh, his regular weapon. So we're gonna cut this off. I'm gonna cut this here as well. Get rid of that. Need to cut this additional hand out. Get rid of that. 
make it look a bit more natural. And then uh, just stick it on. Uh, next we're gonna do like a wrist guard. This uh, from the Brutes, I think. Walk Brutes. Dry fit that, it should fit nicely. Put some glue on. Wrap that bad boy there. Yeah, make sure that fits nicely, nice and snug. I'm gonna cut that so it's flat. It's gonna be easier for gluing. And there it is. <laughs> so I was re glue him on there. This will happen. It's, it's better for it to break now than when you're painting it. So we're just gonna cut this bit down as well. Get a better angle for the arm. Dry fit it. Chuck some glue on. Bit there as well for a contact point. And there we go. So next we're gonna go for the other shoulder pad to cover up that nice gap there. So we've got these three here. Uh, this one uh, looks a little bit too rugged for my liking. Uh, this one, too archaic for me, I think. Get rid of that. And this one I think works perfectly, so we're gonna go for that one. So chuck some glue on. And whack it on. There we go. Uh, next we're gonna try and fill in this gap here on the weapon. Go look a little bit uh looks a little bit open. So we're gonna have uh, some like smoky stuff come out of it, I think. So we're gonna try and fit that in there ideally. And then we we'll maybe have some other ones uh further up. So clip this off and try and just get it to fit in here, cut it down until it fits. Cut it down some more, cut it down some more. And we're just gonna chuck some glue in once it's able to fit and slot that in there. Then we're gonna go for the other one. Same again, cut it off, get rid of that. And then just cut it down till it fits. Just keep cutting it down. And down and down and down. Nearly fits. Nearly fits. Just cut a little bit off there. Nearly fits. Nearly fits. Chuck some glue on. And get it in there. Nice, look at that. Nice flamey weapon. But I've actually decided that part looks a little bit too big, so we're gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna go for a smaller one, I think. So again, cut this off. So it's always okay to go back and change something uh, if, if you don't like it. Never too late to go back. You can always fix it. So I'm just gonna glue this on here on the contact points. And put that in there. It's a lot better. Next, we're gonna be moving on to belts. This part we've already used in the shoulder pad, so we'll get rid of that. And then it's basically out of these two. I mean, they look pretty similar, so we're just gonna pick one of them. This one, and we'll get rid of that one. So, we're just gonna dry fit it as per usual, but I think we're gonna to need to cut it down a little bit to get it a bit more flat to the, to the stomach. So we're gonna cut this off here and get it to fit. That's a bit better, I need to trim down the knee a little bit to get it to fit. Chuck some glue on. And stick it in there. That fits nicely. Uh, next we're gonna go for the head. We have a Forge World White Scar head here that I'll just cut the sides down on. Make it look less Space Marine-y. And we're gonna try and put this Mohawk. Uh, and we're gonna try and combine it with this Squig Skull which we've got here. I was gonna do it separately, but I'm actually gonna try and uh, do them together. So we're gonna cut this out in here so we can actually fit the helmet in. Cut the bottom of the helmet here and dry fit that. Chuck some glue in, get the head nice and positioned. And that works. So we need to work out how we're gonna get this um, around, so I think we're gonna put the bottom bit around his belt, but then the top bit on his head. So that'll fit sort of like that, once it's done. So we're gonna need to cut down this little bit of shoulder pad, make sure it fits. Yeah, that'll fit a bit better there. Uh, but first we need to do the cape to make sure uh, it'll fit properly. So cut off a little bit on each side to get it to actually fit on the body. So we're gonna cut here, 
and do a bit more cutting to get that to fit. Bit more cutting, bit more cutting. It's always a lot of cutting when you're converting things. And it's just you're cutting each side until you get it to fit, basically. And that worked well. So we'll chuck some glue on. And glue it on in there. Try and get it under the shoulder pad. A little bit more subtle. So now we know uh, how we're going to be able to fit that on. So I think we're going to take off this bit because it's going to be hanging down a little bit too much. Chuck some glue on it. And glue it on there. Uh, next we're going to try and do the mohawk on the top of that. So we've quite a big headdress in this guy. So we're going to cut it down. And we've got a contact point back there as well that we can put some glue on. So we're just going to glue it on like that. And there we go, big fancy headdress. Next we're going to put the lower jaw uh, roughly around his belt. So something like that. But uh, we're going to cut it a bit first. His butt actually fell off, but I'm cutting it anyway. So we're going to cut that side as well. Get rid of that. And roughly have it like that on there. So we're just going to pop some glue in there. And that should hold nicely. But we're going to get a little bit uh, on the side to go around the side as well. So we're going to cut that down and pop it in there. Bit of glue. Uh, this part I was going to have like sort of around his neck, but actually we've got a gap around here that we need to fill. So we're going to have this part dangling to sort of come off his belt or around his back. So we're going to glue that in there then we don't have a big old gap. Uh, now these back banners that I did plan to use aren't actually really gonna fit because we've got too much stuff in the way. So we'll, you know, with the mohawk and that, so we're gonna get rid of those. Next, we have a fun stage. We're gonna get this crackle paint here, one of my favorites. Uh, and we're going to get an old crappy brush as well. And we're gonna put a bunch of crackly goodness uh, where I painted all this uh, black bits in here, basically, to sort of make it look a bit more like scales. And we can use it to fill some gaps as well if we need to. So we're just gonna squirt some on here, get it on there, and then just sort of swish it around. Get it fairly even, but it doesn't need to be even. Uh, it may look very thick at first, but um, it will definitely look different in a few hours. So we need to get it on there as well. And then we're just gonna speed this up. Put a bunch in it on, uh, on everywhere. So now it's the next day. I'm actually looking at it. I don't really know if I like it. So I'm gonna change a few things, I think. I'm gonna change the weapon. Uh, I don't really like it, so we're gonna get rid of this. Snap that off. Get rid of that forever. Uh, I think I'm going to go for one of these axes, actually. I'm going to go for this middle one here instead. More regular weapon. So we're going to cut this off here. Cut this hand off. Get that off there. And then uh, we're just going to glue it straight up on there. Not really anything else to it. Drop some glue on. Glue that on there. Uh, next, we're gonna take this ridiculous headdress off. <laughs> we're gonna re-glue the head in a slightly different position. We have him looking sort of off to the side as he's walking. Uh, but we're just gonna put the regular mohawk on. Don't need that ridiculous squig thing. We're just gonna try and glue that on there. Should be nice and easy. So chuck some glue on and uh, pop it on. Right on there. Oh, looks much better already, doesn't it? The way that's uh, cluttered so far. So now we're going to try and take this other ridiculous squid thing on. I don't know why you needed two belts. It seems uh, excessive. So we're going to get rid of those, file that down a little bit, and then there he is. Much, much better. So here's a nice slow shot, seeing every angle uh, of his glory. Such a nice model. I've been looking forward to 
converting this for a while, but you want to see it painted. So here it is. If you want to know how I did the blade, that's actually in my uh, first video, uh, if you wanted to learn how to do that. A few more angles here, you know, it's still spinning about. Uh, so yeah, if you look at my previous video, you'll be able to see how I did the did the blade there. I'll probably do a, another breakdown at some point on how to do the uh, regular colour scheme for my storm host, but you know, it's a video for another day. Let's keep spinning, keep spinning, and spinning some more. Such a quick colour scheme to do as well, real good, real, real good. So that's it for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know uh, down in the comments if you did, or if you're going to use this conversion for yourself. Also down below are links to my Patreon, where you can actually get these videos two weeks early. Uh, my next video is going to be on doing smoke effects that you'll see here. So if you head over to there now, uh, that video is actually already up. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube. Also, there'll be a link to my Instagram below where there'll be plenty more conversions if you like what you saw today. But until next time, that's 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 me me signing off. I guess. <laughs> uh, another one down. Slowly getting there. Bit by bit.